Hello to everyone. Today we're learning Zeyla Shimshon, Parashat Shofetim. And this is our first shiur for seventh year. Page, page in Shin Nun Gimel 353, letter Chet. Picture will take, who's in the group? Gabi Jan, come. Take pictures, send it to Shaila our group, and people will be looking inside with us. Shalom Aleichem, Baruchim Abayim. Okay. <coughs> you took me. Bottom. Give me a minute. We'll begin in exactly okay. a minute. Okay. This side, the whole side. Okay. And this whole side. Okay. Okay. Today is two hundred. And 43 years ago, Rabbi <coughs> Shimshon Chaim Ben Rav Nachman Michael Nachmani passed away. He is one of the biggest rabbis that lived around 300 years ago in Italy, and he had children were born to him and they died all in young age. Then he had one boy and that boy passed away around 18, 19 years old. He didn't get married also. So the rabbi was very upset that he doesn't have continuation. Then he said, what I'm going to do, whatever I have time and energy, I'm going to print out some books. And he print out a few books, Zera Shimshon An, Parsha, Zera Shimshon An, Te'elim, Zera Megillat Esther, all this whatever, Eshet Chayel, he prepared some books, and he said, whoever will learn my books, I will open, openly pray to Hashem, and Hashem will do to him open miracles in this world and in the world to come. He's not going to have Parnasa with hard time. He's going to have Parnasa easily. He's going to have Rafa Shalema, he's going to have children and great grandchildren sitting by his table. So basically, tonight is a big sigula to be here. Uh, how did I get to know Zera Shimshon? From La Walking's wife. When I opened Shul, was thinking to open Shul 11 years ago, in 2011. 2000, I said, Rao Walkin, I'm opening a shul, is there any bracha you want to give me? Rao Walkin, you know, he's a very humble person. He said to me, Yosef, bracha vaslacha. I said, what do you mean? We're having tomorrow Achnazat Sefer Torah in Bet Gabriel. We're going to take from Bet Gabriel, bring the Sefer Torah here. He said, I'm coming with you. Then as I was leaving Rao Walkin's house, Levitson Walkin stopped me. She said, Yosef, listen, good. she talks to me as to her son because I grew up more than 25 years. I learned with Rao Walkin. So, she said to me, I'll tell you something as I would say to my son. Listen carefully. Uh, Stipler Gaon, Lau Chaim Kanievsky's father. Ah! Rabbi Avram, where are you? We miss you. Rukhim Abayim, welcome back. Uh, when I came, as I was leaving the Walkin's house, Rabbits and Walkin told me, Stipler Gaon, Always had on his table Zera Shimshon book. Once a week, he would learn this book. One of his students said, Rabbi, what is this book? He said, Ah, whoever has this book in his house and he learns from this book, some while, 10, 20, 30 minutes a week, you get special segula. He said, Really? That guy bought it. And that guy was married for 17 years. And he didn't have children. And he began having children. So the walk is one to, my wife told me, she said to me, I have a neighbor, he's 43, his color is 39. And he says to me, Rabbitson, I want to get married, give me Sugula. She said, I'm not going to give you bracha, I'm going to do you a favor. She goes to Gift World, there was three sets of Zela Shimshon books. She bought two of them. The rabbi said, listen, and the owner of the store said, why are you buying these books? She said, ah, I want it. She bought two, kept one in the house, and gave one set to that young guy. Within 40 days, he was married. 
43 years old. He got married to 39. And doctor said, I don't think you're going to have children. They child within a year. Wow. So now, when the walk, his wife told me this story, I said to myself, you know what? I want this book. So Raul Walkin gave me his own book. That book was not like this, with the big prints. It was an old-fashioned book. Old you know why old copy was? Nobody used to learn this book. Very few individuals. So I got that set. Actually, I got one book, not two. He said to me, I need one of them. I'll give you the second. So there was half. So I took the book and I brought home one of my congregants. Those days had some problems with the IRS. Eleven years ago, I could say it now. So he said to me, Rabbi, can you give me one segula book? I'm having tomorrow. They come to my office. They're gonna investigate everything. I need IRS a segula book. I said to him, I have one, but I need myself. So he said, What's the name? I said, Zera Shimson. He said, What is? It? I never heard this. I said, I'll give it to you, but bring it back. He said, Okay. As he brought this sefer to his office, those people came as a deaf mute. Whatever they had to be investigating for three and a half hours, they came for three minutes. They said, you know what? Everything is okay. They signed the paper and they left. He said to me, Lama, I'm not giving you this book back. He kept the book. He did not give me the book back. So what happened? Then I went to buy books. I started getting these books. Two in a set. Old ones, one in a set. Old, lashy letters. Small, tiny, tiny letters. Uh, <coughs> I'll tell you, after this learning, my wife... Gave me a few more children, Baruch Hashem. Uh, a lot of people in the shul who had a hard time having children, they got children, Baruch Hashem. A lot of young guys in the shul, they couldn't get married, they got married. So I want to tell you, today, we see open segula. One of my good congregants who lived here before, he had appointment to the open heart surgery. Okay? <coughs> they kept him three days in the hospital, they said... You need an open heart surgery. He said, really, I have to have it? They said to him, if your blood becomes thinner by itself, we're not going to do your open heart surgery. And that was 4 p.m. So that time my nephew Nisim called this guy. He said, where are you? Why not coming to shoot? There's shoes there, Shimshon. He said, I'm in a hospital waiting for the open heart surgery. Guys, I'm talking about a guy who was less than 50 years old. So he said, if Hashem will make me a miracle... And I'm not going to need the surgery. I'm going to come to the shoe like this. I, I shut it off by purpose. because oh, really? No, no, no. But if it's not going to reach me, it's fine. Keep it for now. Keep it on for now. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I was coughing. So I see it's not good. So this way I said, no, no, it's fine. So this guy, 30 minutes later, the doctor comes to see him and says, wow, look at this. Your blood is going smoothly itself. <laughs> I don't remember you brought him you brought him here to the shore the guy who should have had open heart surgery or he came himself how was it in the end of the day he came here with the tube in his heart he came here he was sitting over there by the steps on this side that's where he sits usually you know what I'm talking about those who know and he's sitting like this I said ah what happened he says Rabbi don't make fun of me I still have a tube what are you talking about <coughs> A few days later, they took the tube away from him. But he didn't have open heart surgery. Now you see who is there, Shimshon? Comes Chida. Chida used to travel a lot. Chida said, I know a lot of stories about Zerah Shimshon. He was tremendous. Talmit Chacham and tremendous Mekubal. Not like today. Young couple want to go to get married. They go to Kabbalah. says, oh no, you don't get married. Then you're going to have one, two children. You're going to die. Do, do. Shtuyot. Doesn't even know what he's talking about. Just to say something to make some money. Liar. Chida. Big Mekubal. If you go to Chida's cover, you put your hand in Givat Shaul, your body shakes. Happens to me every time I go. Happens to me. Yeah, two weeks, three weeks ago I was there. My body was shaking. My mind was with me. She says, I feel something wrong with me here. I said, that's not you. This is the Kiddusha of Chida. And Chida says, in his Sefer, Chida says in his Sefer, in uh, Shem Agdoli, Chida says, I know a lot of stories about Zerah Shimshon, Rabbi Shimshon, Chaim. 
he was tremendous mekubal. He let only like 5% of his knowledge to be written in the books. The rest, he said, you have to take it and bury it with me. I don't want anybody finding it and he's going to get wrong approach and he's going to go somewhere wrong. Deep, deep Kabbalah. Because 150 years ago, maybe a little bit less, they had to remove graves from the Italy cemetery and make a highway there. They reburied him in different cemetery and nobody knows where he's buried. Today nobody can come and say, I went to a cemetery in Italy and I saw where he died. He's not going to do that because nobody knows where he's buried. It's covered up. <coughs> but I'll tell you one thing. A lot of people who were waiting for six years to get gas installed in their house, they couldn't get installation. Where is Mr. Ariel Kanhorov? That's one of his closest relatives. So that guy called me and said, Rabbi, I can't get six years. You think if I come to Zera Shimshon and learn with you two times within a month, I'll get it? I said, you know what? I cannot lie to you. Many miracles happen with Zera Shimshon, those who come. Kanez. Things could happen. Kanez, right? Or guess, what was that? <coughs> within three weeks from the day that he came, he got Kanez and installed. And what he did, he came next week after that and sponsored the shoe. He said, I, I, want, I want to sponsor the shoe. Why? This is my Kanada top. I'll tell you, Baruch Hashem, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Those two people who couldn't have Atzlacha, had Atzlacha. Those who couldn't get married, got married. <coughs> Many people have children, Baruch Hashem. Those who are waiting for baby boys, We'll get this year, baby boys. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, <coughs> I would like to start Zera Shimson. Before I start, I want to say special, special thank you to my wife. I said to her, listen, Ima, I want to make Zera Shimson, I want to make heavy duty. She said, you know what? We'll do it ourselves. I said, what do you mean? It's going to be very expensive. She said to me, I want to do it. I have a lot of niyat. I have a lot of wishes. Hashem should listen to our wishes. I want to do it. So, today's main sponsor of today's event is my rabbits. Not even me. Can you imagine? Uh, don't, think we have, don't, don't think we have two different accounts. There's no such a thing. In our house, everything is one. In every house should be like this. But, my rabbits said, it's on me. And of course, we do it together. Baruch Hashem, it will be amazing. You will have a lot of fun. Number two, I want to say special thank you to Minu Tehrani. She's from LA. She's uh, also our partner for sponsoring today's shiur. She sent the Zell to Nisim. Thank you. Nisim delivered her Zell. I'm sure she's watching us maybe here. Let me see in the Zoom. Maybe not. Oh. My friends are here. Very good. If she's not, definitely overnight she's going to listen on YouTube. And I want to say thank you to Minu. Many miracles happened to her family. I'm not going to mention here. I'm not allowed. She's going to beat me up. But I'll tell you, Hashem should give her. Uh, nice, good daughter-in-laws. And whatever you wish for, Hashem should give you. Amen. Amen. Second person, <coughs> I want to say thank you to Avram Aminov. Avram Aminov, every week, he tries to be partial sponsor for the Zeyar Shimson. He is not here now, he's going to come here soon, he's coming every time. Hashem should give him Brachav Aschai, should find Batzuk Nabe Karov. True Eshet Chal and grow into Torah Mitzvot and Masim Tovim. Next sponsor, sitting right in front of me over here, this is Mrs. Rina Gilkarov and her husband, Mr. Avner Gilkarov, and the whole, their, whole entire family. I want to wish them Brachas Lacha, Parnasatova, Nachat, Sheikat Lubatonom, Mitzvah, Simtim. All your wishes should come true. Bezat Hashem, you should get into your house as soon as possible. Uh, my request as soon as you get into your house, you have to get first text message. Uh, Rabbi, I came into my house because this is how we will be a Karada Tov to Hashem. That whatever happened, we say thank you to Hashem. Thank you. Thank you. 
And of course, my regards to your husband, to your entire family. We really respect you and we know you for many, many years. And Bezad Hashem, all your nef- nephews and nieces' weddings should be Bekarov Vatzlacha. Mrs. Zoya is here? Yes. <coughs> I'll tell you if today, <coughs> if today you know Rabbi Akilov, maybe uh, speaker number 15 in Bukharian community, one of the good speakers number 15 maybe, it's all because of this lady, Mrs. Zoya. 22 years ago, when I just got married, she stopped me on 108 when I was making shopping over here. She said to me, are you Rabbi Akilov? Yes. I like your speeches. I got so nervous, I started preparing double now. Why? Because I said, I don't want to mess up next time, you know? And Baruch Hashem, today, I start giving normal speeches because of the good words. Thank you, and Be'ezad Hashem. I want to say these speeches on your other children's weddings, Be'ezad Hashem. Amen. In the chupot, as I do usually. Okay. Now I want to say the last, not the least, I'm sorry. There was an incident. 20... <coughs> No, no, no. 35 years ago, there was a two-year-old boy passed away on this day. Lelu Nishmat, Rafael Roland, Roland Ben Maya, Ruach Hashem Tenichenu Baganeden. His mother also <coughs> today said she wants to be part of the Hashem Shon. Ah, Rabbi Avner, Bruchim Abayim. Please, 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 right to the front, over here. No, no, I have to stand up. This is a pleasure. Okay, <laughs> we just spoke about your family and you're here. Burkhim Abayim, thank you. We really have a lot of nachat from your children, son-in-law, soon grandchildren, great-grandchildren, Be'ez HaShem. Be'cheni, that's all of my amen. I'm very sorry, usually I'm very loud. <laughs> Today I can't be that loud, but I'm trying my best. And uh, <clears throat> my wife asked me, my wife asked me, she said, Abba, you never do shiur zera shimshon for women also. Why decided to do this time? I said, because six years this shiur has been going and thank you to this woman for sending their husband. All you guys come every week. You know what's funny? When I'm in Miami or in Israel or anywhere, I put on Zoom, you are all there. All your families listen. You all grow. Everybody knows. Zerah Shishon to this place is not new. It's old. Everybody knows him. So I want to pray to Hashem. Hashem should listen to the Tfilah Zerah Shimson. And uh, today we're learning as if each one of us saying Kaddish for him. Because he doesn't have person to say Kaddish for him. So our learning Torah that he wrote, he taught. And look, in every thought of Torah that he teaches... It opens your mind. And you feel like today Hashem put some spark in your neshama and you will open up. You will see and it's beautiful. Lelu nishmat kol haniftanim haniftarot my father-in-law Gavriel ben Berta de'alu baravigal gam kol haniftanim v'cheni yilatom on amen. Amen. Okay, I want to say thank you for those sponsors that I didn't mention. I'm sorry. But now we're starting the shiur. 15 minutes we'll learn. And there will be food, and after food, we'll continue next 45 minutes. Today's shiur... Please. (coughs) Shoshana bad mazal. Thank you. How much time we have? 10 minutes, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Okay. Aftalion ben Zara. Yosef ben Angel. Yosef ben Angel. I love young guys. Gabriel ben Panil. Gabriel ben Panil. Who knows? 
How many sad weeks we had in the month of Elul? How many? Three sad weeks. Bena Metzarim. Three weeks. To undo three weeks, how many condolences weeks we have in the Aftarot? Nachamu, Nachamu Ami, Anochi, Anochi, huh? Seven. Thank you, Rabbi Yonatan. We have seven weeks. Hashem can condoles us. Hashem says, come down. Don't worry, I'll make you happy. Then Hashem Shon is asking a question. Why Hashem says, Anochi, Anochi, two times? Look at after all of this week, Hashem says, you scared of your enemy? They are just human. Basar Adam. They are flesh and blood. Hashem says, the flesh and blood after 120 years is a dust. But I stay forever. Don't be afraid of nobody. Don't be afraid of your enemies. I will protect you and I will take care of you. So now, in this week's Pasha, Hashem gives us such a condolence, happy promise that He will take care of us. He will save us. The question is why it says two times, Anochi, Anochi, I am, I am. Why two times? So this is the simple question. Who knows how to read in Hebrew? Put in front of you. Imagine Aleph, Nun, Chaf, Yud. Anochi. Okay? So now, Zerashim Shom brings a beautiful case. Amar Rabbi Abba. So Midrash, Yakut Shimoni, in Yishayahu, he says, <coughs> Rabbi Abba said the name of Rabbi Shimon Ben Lakish. Mashal Lamelech. <coughs> it's a parable to the king. Shekaa said Matrona. A king got so upset at his queen. Vetilda tortured her. Votia mitok palatrin shalom. And he kicked her out of the palace. One king, he got upset with his queen, and he kicked, kicked her out of the palace. After a few days, he says, Guys, where's my queen? Call her back. <coughs> so they called her back. She says, Now, how they say, She says, I'm not coming back. How much was my ktuba money? How much person writes ktuba for his wife? Simple money. How much? 200 zuz. She says to him, you want me to come back? Yeah. Give me double ktuba money. 400 zuz. You give me double, I'll come back. You will not give me double, I'm not coming to you. Amra, ekponli ktuba ti, yachazireni. You double my ktuba, then I'll come back to you. Question to you. Why would women speak like this? Why would queen say to her husband, to the king, double my ktuba? Kach amar HaKadosh Baruch Hu Israel. This is what Hashem said to Jewish nation. Amar tilachem pa'am achat by Har Sinai. Hashem says, I told you one time. Anochi Hashem elokecha by ten commandments. What did Hashem say? I am your God. One time Anochi he said. But now, after destruction by the Mikdash, to return us back, how many times Hashem says? Hashem says, when Mashiach comes, two times I will say Anochi, Anochi. I will double your Ketubah. By the Har Sinai was one Ketubah. By Mashiach coming, it's more than Har Sinai. Hashem says, I double your Ketubah. I am, I am the one who will be giving you condolences. Kashe. Zera Shimson. 270, 280 years ago, asking a question. He says, one second. What will add or subtract to Jewish nation? One extra word, Anochi. The man of Kamina, Imi Omar Pam, Achados de Pamim, Od, Lama Beemeric Fallaim, Omayan Kefelze, 
Why would Hashem make double version Anochi? And what it makes benefit? Uh, guys, since we have here today men and women, and Be'ezad Hashem, we should hear from everyone. Besorot Tovot. I want to give a case I have, I have in the house. Wife says to the husband, take me to do shopping. So he says, you know, I will take you to shopping. And he says, I will take you to shopping. It's the question, why say two times? Once you said it's good enough. Why to say two times, huh? That's how you say <coughs> This is how we say it. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing, learn for life. I'm reminding you. It says, Adam, lo yaziz, etz baktana shelo. I feel it's baktana shelo. Milemata. Im lo yagidu lo lazuz milemala. A person doesn't move his finger in this world on the bottom here until they will push it from top there. So if so, I never say anything extra. Anything I say has a meaning, has a reason, has a purpose. Why am I saying it? For good or for bad? Everything is a time and place. Why is it happening? So why Hashem said two times, Anochi, Anochi? That's the question. But still we didn't answer. Why when husband kicks out his wife from the house, I mean, house, I'm not here. The king. The king. So you got to be careful talking. What do you think? It's not just simple talking. You got to be careful. Why king kicked out his queen out of the house? And now he says to her, Jonah, come back. What did she say? What did she say? Yes, I'll come back. What did she say? Make my ketubah double. My ketubah was $20,000. Make it $40,000. You make it $40,000, i will come. Why? Tell me what's worse. If I slap you, I speak bad about you. Huh? If I slap you, ah, oh, hurts. Or I speak bad about you. What one? Which one hurts bad? Speaking bad about a person's words and slapping. Who can give me a mashal parable speaking bad about someone? There was a student. He came to one rabbi shul. He didn't like it. He went outside and said, "Guys, this rabbi, how say whack man? How they say this guy's a whack? He talks Chovam Burdak. You know, he's a boring guy. You know, Nipaizot. So." Three, four guys came and said, Lama, he speaks bad about you. He says, oh, really? Uh-huh. Tell him, in a few weeks of Rosh Hashanah coming, I don't forgive him until last Mechila. So he comes to his rabbi, I want to ask Mechila. He says, you want to ask Mechila? Yeah, go to Bath, Bath, and beyond, buy a pillow. <laughs> he went and buy a pillow. He said, what should I do now? He said, go in the middle of the one away street, open the pillow on the one side, and hit five times on top. So he opened his side, hitting five times. All oh, these feathers flew out. He says, Rabbi, I did what should I do? He says, now go out and collect all those feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do flew away. So the Yola Shonara also did that. Yola Shonara also did that. If you have on Zoom, if you have on a WhatsApp, check, check, three minutes, the whole world knows already about it. Where are you going to go collect La Shonara back now? You're done. He says, I forgive you, but it spread everywhere. Like Corona spread. What are you going to do now? This is why slapping somebody, it's not a mitzvah, it's also a problem. But it's fixable. You ask Mechila 20 times, 40 times, 50 times, you wait, uh, you pay, I don't know. Goes away. When you speak bad about someone, Motsi Shemra, that hurts. So now, Queen said to the king, what did she say? You want me back? What do you have to do? Double the Ketubah. Why? Because once you kicked me out of the palace, people thought I was not faithful to, to you. People thought I'm a bad woman. I'm not faithful to you. Now you want to bring me back? What people will think? Yeah, since King brought her back, means she's a pure woman. But, until now people spoke bad about me, yeah, that hurts. <coughs> Make my to Badabo. Okay? So now let's look inside. Look inside the third paragraph from the top. <coughs> היינו ממה שמצינו שהעונש הוא מפתח חייבים חמישים סלע שהם מאתיים זוז כמו הרי בתולות. If person forced a woman or he seduced a woman, he has to pay 50 סלע, which is 200 זוז, the ketuba money. Why? Because he shamed her. והמוציא שם רע על בתולת ישראל. But if person speaks bad on a Jewish woman, Jewish girl, when he says she ain't no emet and comes out, it was not true. 
משלם הכפל, he has to pay double. He harmed her <coughs> physically 200 zoos. Spoke Lashon Ara about her, Motzi Shemra. Made rumors about her that didn't exist. 400 zoos, double. Why? Motzi Shemra speaks fake rumors. Motzi Shemra, okay? <coughs> So it comes out, he has to pay 400 Jews. Who do you think I'm coughing? I'm, I'm regretting the shiur? I'm regretting? No. No. Everything is mean. Hashem, Hashem says, if you cough 20 times today, your 20 punishments you're not going to get. You're going to have a good year. I say, okay. Some guy comes home, and he has to get a chauffeur in the house. Or from children, or from wife, or from father, or from mother-in-law. He has to say, Hashem, thank you. If I don't hit catch off our head, then I'm going to be having stumbling here. I already hear now before the Shadim, he will clean everything. But I'm having a good year coming up. This is how you have to look at life. Any time you stumble, any time you fall, any time you get hurt, it's all for your benefit. It's all for your good. It's all for good. I want to God forbid woman really went and she was not so faithful to her husband. Did she get ktuba money? No. Did she get anything? No. And she goes out. Im ken she amel gerash et matrona matrona vatsi amitof platin shelo. So he saw if king kicked out this queen out of the palace, hare otsi ale Hashem la shezinta. So he spoke bad about her. And once he wants her back, means he sees that she's pure woman. <coughs> Guys, what do you think? I like to be boring. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I want to tell you something. That you're gonna remember this shoe for the next 50 years. Do you see my face there? Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. Tell me one thing. Which month are we are we holding on? Thank you. Anile Dodi ve Dodi Li, right? Before I continue the Rashim Shon, I learned two Meshalim this week that for my life I did not know. If anybody knew this, Chazak Baruch, I did not know. And I want to share with you. Ravor. <coughs> it says, Pit Huli Petach. I'll give you this mashal we start eating, okay? Two minutes. It says, Hashem says, open to me opening like a hole of a needle and I will open you the whole world. The question is, what has to do with the hole of the needle? What has to do with the hole of the needle? What has to do with the needle? Tell me. In Russia, we had class, sewing class. In America, we don't have sewing class. You give to a boy and a girl today to do a food visit, they have to go to London and pay $10 to do that. Okay? In Russia, we did also. Tell me, if there is no hole in the needle, I could sew something or no? What if I'm going to tie the thread into the needle? I'll be able to sew? No. I need that hole, right? Look what it says. Hashem says to us, give me an opening in your heart that you want to make 1% Teshua. 1%, not 10%, 20%. 1%. Hashem, I'll put candles a minute before. Hashem, I'll walk around extra day with the keeper. Hashem, I'll put one hour extra. My Talit Katar. Anything, small. Small, tiny. I will answer Amen Yashmin Abba with the Kavana. Anything. Hashem says, you make opening like a needle and I'll open the whole world. Why needle? Why not something else? Do you know why? 
when husband and wife argue in the house, it's like a ripping a garment. <coughs> we are a wife compared to Hashem. We are like a wife. When we sin, we rip the garment that connects between us and Hashem. And Hashem says, I have an idol. You make slight the shunah, and I'll put the thread inside. And I'll be able to sew the bond between me and you. And I'll be able to connect it together. But if you don't have that tiny opening, it's not going to do nothing. So therefore, Hashem says, give me a hole of a needle. The small, I want to do a little bit to shoot, a little bit, small step. Hashem says, that's good enough. Why? I'll be able to sew with it. And then we'll be able to do the peace. Now I understand why Zed Hashimshon chose to give us mashal between queen, king and a queen. Because this is the cloud Israel. I want to stop over here. Let's make nice suda. Make neti leather dine. And then we have candles to light candles. I'll tell you what the names. And after that, Bezad Hashem, we'll continue the shiur. We have amazing shiurim and we have amazing mashal. I want to take a moment and say special, special, special thank you for everyone to come here. Nobody goes anywhere until the shiur is over. You, mark my words down with a hundred percent bitachon and emunah. Go home today, put on calendar this day and see. How from today you'll have a lot of atzlacha in your home. Before we continue Zer Shimson, I would like to share with you <coughs> a beautiful parable I learned past week. And honestly, I was thinking to say that on Rosh Hashanah because out of happiness, I would have tear from this. But I'm not going to hold it. Why? Because A... I have Emunah and Bitachon and Hashem. I'm going to say it now. Hashem is going to give me a different parable for Rosh Hashanah. Number two, I'm going to forget it till then. Number three, I'm going to find you. Every day we have different crowds, Baruch Hashem. But you should know, today you came here, not only you made happy yourself, you made me happy by coming and supporting the Shur, respecting the Shur. And Be'ezad Hashem, I'm waiting to get my invitation for your weddings, for bar mitzvahs, for brit milas, for all the other happy occasions that you will have. In Petichad Eliyahu we say like this. Hashem tells Jewish nation. Achoti. Hashem says, I love you dearly. You are to me like my sister. Rayati, you my friend, Hashem says to us. Yonati, you my pigeon. What's pigeon? If one dies, second one doesn't remarry. There's no such thing. Second marriage. Uh, Hashem says, only one Kalal is to me. There's no second. Hashem says, I'm not going to change you to a different nation. And the last one is Tamati. You simple one to me. Zohar tells us, don't read Tamati. Read Teomati, you my twin. Why? Sheroshinim Latal. Hashem says, because my head is still wet from the dew. I don't understand. Before Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, what Hashem is telling me, Ani le dodi ve dodi li, I'm for my love, my love for me. Okay, so what does that mean? And then, Shaloshini Mlatal, my head is <coughs> wet from the dew. Honestly, I was thinking to say that Rosh Hashanah. Because the Rashim Shon began Mashal from the king and the queen. I want to say it now. I want to combine our Torah to his. With this should be Meli Joshua. Besorot <coughs> Tovot Am Israel. A king and a queen really argued in the house. A king got so upset and kicked his wife out. He said, like, you know, sometimes people, I mean, today's generation, nobody does that. Eh, maybe a hundred years ago, people did. Kicked out his wife out of the house. <coughs> out of the palace. For years, hundreds of years, she was walking one way, he was walking different way. She got lost this way, he got lost that way, and suddenly they met. After years they met, she looked at him, he looked at her, he said, no, how it felt to be out of the house. She 
said to him, how it felt to be out of the house? Terrible. Terrible! I feel like homeless, she said. You having fun? You go back, you sleep on your bed. You eat from your table. You use your couches. And I sleep on the floor. And I eat grass. And I freeze on the cold weather. And you have fun. He said, my dear, Achoti, Rayati, Yonati, Tamati, since the day you did not go back to the palace. I did not go back to the palace, says the king. You don't believe me? Touch my head. My head is still wet from the dew. From the dew that every day falls. Sheloshinim la tau, gimatria tau. Tet is nine, Lamed is 30, 39, 39 days starting from first Elu till right day before Yom Kippur. 39 days, the 40 days we go to Yom Kippur. We say, Hashem, Gimatel Shana is Bet Amikdash. Bring us Bet Amikdash. So we want to be with you together because if we not in the Bet Amikdash, Hashem, you are not in the Bet Amikdash. Hashem says, I'm not back in the Bet Amikdash. Why? Because my wife is not there. Kalal Israel is not there. Do you know every wedding you go, you must dance, dance with Khatan? Girls have to dance with Kala. Why? Because every wedding is a small connection between Hashem and, and, and Kala Israel as you're rebuilding Beit HaMikdash. I want to pray to Hashem with this mashal knowing before Hoshana, we should with Mashiach Tzitken and go inside Beit HaMikdash and dance. Can you imagine? Look how Hashem loves us. We in American land. Someone in Russia, someone in Italy, someone in China. Someone even in Israel. Rabbi Elisha, you're the man, please come. Someone cannot even get to shoe, forgot even that he's Jew. Hashem sits with him on the chair and cries. Hashem says, You cry because you don't know the Torah? I cry because I cannot enter my house. I cannot enter my house because you cannot enter my house. You cannot enter, I cannot enter. This is shows us the pain that Hashem has that we don't have Beit HaMikdash. And with this, can you imagine how we waiting to come close to Hashem, how Hashem is waiting to come close to us. So with this, Be'ezad Hashem, we should get Koach to get together, to put our act together to Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, to do Tshua and to really connect with Hashem. Now, proudly, I want to continue Zena Shimshon. It will take more than maybe 10, 12 minutes. I need your patience. I need you to pay attention. What was the question of Zena Shimshon? Why it says two times. Why it says two times? The word? Anochi. If I play with the letters, but I want you to look inside and pay attention. Why? Because, oh, no, not inside, pay attention. Why? Because when you don't have a smart board here, they're writing and throwing letters in and out, it's a little bit hard. Soon be Zad Hashem, Hashem will help us to expand with Zed Hashem Shon's Yorzai. With all your tefillot, everyone is praying over here. Now, today we learn those who don't pray here on Shabbat also should pray that our Shabbat house should become bigger. And so, be Zad Hashem with your help, with Hashem's help, be Zad Hashem. And then, then we'll have smart board over there. We're gonna play with letters, we'll let it grow later. It's gonna be much easier. <laughs> what what of course in forest too but I'm gonna go I'm not gonna go anywhere uh, okay <laughs> let's go why it says double language uh, you know what I'll give you first introduction and then I'll give you the answer the introduction is if Hashem from A to Z would take us out of Egypt, we would never go into exile ever again. Because little bit Moshe Rabbeinu's job was there, Aaron Akoen was there, Miriam was there, because people's job was there, we had to go back to exile. Hashem says, after all together took us out, Hashem says, Anochi. But when Hashem would take us out himself by Mashiach, it says over there, Anochi, Anochi. I fix you, fix you. No one will, you will never see any more exile ever again. So now, 
Who is a jeweler? I want to tell you one thing. Is there a difference when you cleaning the jewelry from the garbage? Is there a difference when you're cleaning the good or when you're cleaning the bad? Let's say, I want to take out of the plate the good. Or I want to take it out of the plate bad. Is there any difference to this? Or the same thing? <coughs> is it the same thing or it's different? It's different. Huh? It's different. Why is it different? I'm telling you lesson for life. If Hashem would take only the good, there is still coming a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit bad to take. But if Hashem would take once all the bad out, they would never be bad again. Hashem said, until now, I took you out of Mitzrayim. But you know what? Inside of you, there's a little bit Mitzrayim still there. A little bit Mitzrayim came out with you. Erev Rav came out with you. I have to take you out again. But when second time Hashem will take us out, I want to be in nice, clean language because Umot Olam, they will not be there. Hashem will take all the bad out. Once Hashem takes the bad out, there's no more bad ever left. So therefore, only good will remain. So now let's look at Zerah Shimshon. And you will see this beautiful, beautiful we will said openly in the words. Omnam, it's Shin Nun Dalet and the second count on top. Omnam, od yesh lomar be inyan pratiyut ha-shevach shel anokhi ketav ramaz Ramaz, Ramaz I believe is buried right near Arizal. It was big mekubal. B'shem lach, al pasuk anokhi ha-shem elokech. It says, shemilat anokhi lo mezed l'shechina. The word anokhi is a symbolizes Shekhinah. Besod nekuda penimit. How? There's a Shekhinah outsider, there's a Shekhinah insider. Those who don't understand, it's fine. I, Rabbi Akilov, had to read this 14 times to understand. So if you don't understand with once, it's fine. If you have time, go over this shoe three, four times, you will get it 100%. If no, Hashem will understand, it's too hard for you. Just go on further. Next piece. Ava, Anihu, Bechitsu, Niyota, Ben Vetet. <laughs> Look at me. Anochi foleres. Alev nun chaf yud. Take the chaf away. What remained? Alev nun yud. Ani. How much gematria? Ani alev is one. Nun is fifty. Fifty one. Yud is ten. Sixty one. Right. So now, how you say son in Hebrew? Ben. Ben. How much gematria? Ben. Fifty two. So son put over here. How many left over there? Sixty one minus fifty two will be. Nine. This is the ninth field, okay? Nine letters. Nine letters. Okay, so now it says, Ani, who bechitzon yuta ben vetet, ben fifty-two and tet nine. Otiot, who okay? Hey hey habina, hey hey of yud kai okay is bina. Shegam he tzot shchina ila vetzot ben. Because she can, she anochi Hashem enokech Hashem uzdicha akol bebina. Everything is in the. Bina, mm -hmm. understanding, Bina, Zohar, Kabbalah, I'm not going to carry there, I don't know myself this, we'll go on further. <coughs> Uma, by the way, be careful, <coughs> Bina is stronger by woman than by man. <coughs> you have a new partner in the business, if your wife tells you, don't use him, he's Nipai Jot. I just saw him first time in my life, what are you saying? She feels it three times faster than you do, listen to her, she's right. Let's get out of... 90 times out of 100, woman is always right. Two people buzzing downstairs. Who is coming? She will say first coming Abraham, then coming Daniel. She is right. <laughs> you argue, you will see that she is right. Why? Woman is certain feeling wish, bina. Wish Hashem gave it to them. Okay. So now, it doesn't mean from today and on you right I'm wrong. No, no, we work together. We work together. Family, we work together. Now. Uma, Abraham. Now, Hashem said to Abraham, I will help you. Stop for a second. Stop. Ask yourself a question. Why me, you, had to be here today? Why had to come here today? Listen good. Listen well. Whatever I'm going to tell you now, you're not going to hear in every issue. People don't tell you, don't shoot arrows straight. Sometimes I do because I have to. I'm in the community and I know it's needed. In a day, at least four or five people you see, they need tremendous help. Help with 
smile, help with self-esteem, help with happiness, help with stress relief, help with some different thing, help with the joke, help with saying hello. If you have opportunity to throw one good word or one small or one small halacha or one small daily dose, don't take for granted. Do it. Avram Avinu felt depressed. Avram Avinu. He taught thousands of people Torah. Suddenly, they all turned around and left from him when he did Berit Milah to himself. They said, what? 99-year-old man making uh, ISIS jobs over here? Circumcise? Uh, circumcision? Uh, surgery? 99-year-old man? <coughs> we don't follow you anymore. They all left. Hashem said to him, Aram, Anochi Magen Lach. I will support you. How? Anytime you throw your words to these people, it's gonna small spark, will become big spark, and they will return one day. They all left, and they returned. Same thing. You know somebody, doesn't keep certain alakot, is not happy in life, doesn't see much lacha, doesn't something. Say good words. Send the retora. Now it's not gonna work. It's not gonna help. He was gonna turn it on and he was like, ah, this guy's fanatic, leave him alone. They all go to shoe all day long. We had the hit the head on the wall. Whatever. Let them say whatever they want. But in long run, six months, one year, two, three years from now, they all will come back. Because of the words you say. You know, I used to take this not so serious. I had Bar Mitzvah boy. Fifteen, sixteen years later after that, he came here. I, I hope he doesn't listen to the shoot, but if he's not if he's listening, he's gonna forgive me. He had some tattoos, everything. And I looked at him and said, so I'm a good rabbi, you know. So I said, Hi, what do you did? He said, I don't love sins, this, this, this. So I said, What kept you? What kept you? Shabbat said, I don't keep Shabbat. Kashrut, no. What? He said, I remember when you were teaching me for Bar Mitzvah, you told me, Promise you're gonna wear it film every day. He said, Even though I sinned whatever I sinned. <coughs> <coughs> I said to myself, I'm not gonna let my kilo down, and I wear feeling every single day. That feeling that he wears every day, today he comes in. Like two weeks ago on Shabbat, he was here. He keeps Shabbat for sure now, for sure. Well, his brother teaches a lot of people Torah. But, one word, I don't even remember this. You think I remember? I tell you, Barmi's boy, what I thought I said, I don't remember. But, you don't know. You say, say good words. It's gonna stay in him, it's gonna play in him, and one day it's gonna be out of him, and it's gonna become Jose Bichua. Do your part. <coughs> so now, Hashem says, Anochim again lach, if ticho, shelo pa'al larek. Hashem promised Abraham, whatever you did is not for nothing. Ki otam shechazru vesuram, those who return back to their job, to their idols, back. He begged by him, Ara. Vehuvra ratov shebahem. Attached evil to them and separated good from them. And they all came back again with those who got connected to Aram Avinu again. And you will see in future they will come to the Brit Mila. And then they will be Ger Tzedek. Mamash, I'll tell you, this generation. We need to keep our four eyes. The Moshe Shalom. We need to keep our four eyes to see boy or girl happy or upset, depressed or not. They need help or they don't need help. Speak to them. Call them. Help them. Go out of your way. Send certain good text message. You don't know you're going to save somebody. You don't know. Just do your job. And when you save it, you save the world. Saving one person, saving the world. Don't say, this, this is my job. No, yes, it is your job. Why? Because we are all one Sefer Torah. One letter is missing in the Torah. Sefer Torah is not kosher. One Jew is out of the box. We cannot say we clearly Israel. We, we lost it. We're not. We're not there anymore. So we have to be all together. So. <laughs> oh, we have nine more minutes. Guys, am I boring? No. no. Oh, not bored? You go, if you're bored, let me know. Uh, can I say one joke to you? Yes. Said to me, 18, 19 years ago, I was walking. We had bad neighbor. We had really bad neighbor. Chinese. My father comes from Yeshua, puts two steps, do, 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 from the bottom of the heat. My mom gets up, heats one of my, I come on heat. 
We get scared, we don't know what to do. He said, I'm walking, what should I do? He said, let me tell you a joke. I said, okay. There was a guy who was walking in the house. Somebody was sitting from the bottom. So he came to his rabbi. His rabbi said, you know, when you come home, take off your shoe and hit on the floor. Ta! Two minutes later, take second train, hit ta! So he got used to it. He comes home. Even the neighbor is sleeping, takes shoe. Ta! Ta! Every day, toes, two shoes. Hello, what do you do? Teshuva? Before Rosh Hashanah, he said, I'm Rosh Hashanah. I will do Teshuva. I will not eat anymore. To catch so far, his heart melted. Said, ah, oh, how will I do? Never again, never again. So, finished. Comes home. When you get habit, it's not easy to stop, you know? So he comes home. He comes home. Right away, takes off his shoe. Stop! Throws. He said, second one. Oh, I made Teshuva. I said, oh, I'm sorry, Hashem. I forgot. Put second shoe on the shelf. He passed spot. 30 minutes later, somebody's knocking. Dish, 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 ah, what happened? The neighbor says, throw the second one, I want to go to sleep. On Thursday, I'm going to apologize. I'm sorry. Hashem should protect us. Let's go, guys. Who's one of the Barabakil? I want to see you. Let's go. Who's one of the Barabakil? I'm not going to joke. And the reason she ought to come from Mr. Deputy Mew and let her come. Any person let her come, he's a hidden inside guy. Humble. Inside, humble. What calf starts? Calf. Any name with calf? I know, Malkir, Mem. What? Kahana, huh? Kohen, any Kalev, any letter Ka, Katya, what? Kain is a Kuf. <coughs> letter Ka is a humble, simple person. Letter Ka is hidden. So Anochi, the Chav, Hashem is hidden. Ani, Alev, Nunyud is open, outside. So now. This is Kavla Mesla Pinimut. I know name. Sheben Vetedotiot, Hainutet Sfilot. Nine is nine Sfilot, Zulada Keter. Without Keter, Kav is Keter. Keter is crown. Crown is hidden. Okay. Shele Olam, Nechshevet Me Olam Aelion. Ba Keter, who at Sma Pinimut? Keter, Kav, Corona, Crown, sorry. Corona is not. Crown is, Crown is inside beauty, inside holiness. Vim Ken, Ani, Hem, Tet sefilot below keter. So, anochi is ani, nine sefilot without keter. Omnam, keshe ba'aha kav da'ino a keter, az yesh gam apani miyut. In the word anochi you have outside name of Hashem and inside name of Hashem. And you have nine sefilot and keter inside, ten sefilot in the word anochi. So now, Omnam, keshe ba'aha kav da'ino a keter, az... יש גם פנימיות. בשעת מתן תורה, היו כל ישראל שם, שם בלב אחד כאיש אחד. בא עם מתן תורה, the whole class that was together. So Hashem said, אנוכי, all the tense will not include it. Inside name of Hashem, outside name of Hashem, all together. You should know one thing. In every couple, what the guy says, הרי את מקודשת? לי. למד is the biggest letter in the Torah. That is man. יוד is the smallest letter in the Torah. That is woman. In every marriage, there's two Shekhinot getting together. Upper world and lower world. One of them is upper, one of them is low. One is loud, one is low. One is a little bit humble, one is a little bit not humble. This is what makes whole circle together. This is what makes Shiduk together. They say, oh, we're two opposites, maybe not just opposite. Because you're two opposites for each other. Also, why do you just put us together? To work it out. You should know one thing. Any person gets married, you didn't open the America, it was open before you were born. When a person is born, before he's born, Hashem takes one of Shama, splits in two. Says, you go with that world, you go with that world. When they get married, the two halves get back together. Okay? Tell me one thing. If, if, if a Kala doesn't open her finger, and Khatan doesn't decide to put the ring, is there marriage? No, same thing. Opening a finger is like person making teshuva, putting a ring is Hashem is putting a ring on us, on Elul. If we don't do the teshuva, there's no hole in the needle and there's no marriage. You agree with me? That's right. Let's continue. 
והייתה הבינה שאם הבנים של אמה מתוקנת. By the way, why בינה is woman? Because it says הם הבנים. הללויה. הם הבנים. Mother of the children. אוקיי. אמה מתוקנת שמשם נשמות בני ישראל ומשום אחי אמר אנוכי because of all these תפילות, sentence תפילות comes out all the נשמות when השם said אנוכי he basically boosted all the נשמות Whose neshama was by Har Sinai? Whose neshama wasn't? That's the problem. From Adam and Shon until Mashiach's neshama, every neshama was by Har Sinai. Gemara, in two places, asking a question. How do you know somebody's great grandfather was not standing by Har Sinai? Means Goy, how do you know? I'm not trying to say go walk around in the middle of the street and say uh da niet da niet no no don't do that don't do that just when you see in the Jewish nation somebody openly sings and he has no chutz but no face you should know his great grandfather was not standing by her tonight goy when someone has no face and does open scenes like tremendous scenes openly no chutz but stay away. <coughs> Today we don't have Jewish people like this. Baruch Hashem, we're making Shua coming close to Hashem. Don't investigate anybody. Who that did love to hear me to get it up? Ashkenat at all. Behold, back on me. Oh, look what it says here. Ah, where did I get from? Chatan Kala to Shkinot up and down. From here, look what it says. Unbelievable. Who be shot matan to Raha? You call it Slashem. בלב אחד כאיש אחד, והייתה הבינה שהם הבנים של אמה ומתוקנת שמשם נשמה בני ישראל ומשום אחי אמר אנוכי ולעתיד לבוא תהיה מתוקנת אף השכינה תתאה and the bottom שכינה will be also fixed as the biggest ברכה עם ברכת המזון what? בכל מכל כל don't forget that גמרא בבא בתרא I believe page 16 בכל מכל כל, אברהם יצחק בן יעקב. He said בכל, he said מכל, he said כל. יש לי כל. באברהם זקן, ואדוני בנך את אברהם, בכל. בכל. ויתן לי מעשר מכל, יצחק אבינו. יעקב אבינו, what it says? יצחק יעקב אבינו, וכי יש לי כל. He says I have everything. בכל מכל, the biggest ברכה in the world. If you have כוונה בכל מכל כל, עם ברכת המזון, you have... ביגז הצלחה קאמינג טוב זה רואי. יאן באותה העת כבר קצבה כל הנדחים והפזורים ותהיה אף היא במדרגה הפנימית. כי נשמות הגרים הם מבחינת יותר תחתם משמעות בני ישראל. When גויים want to become Jew, then the Shema is much lower level than regular Jew. But when he becomes, he becomes also in that level. So now לפי שאתה בקלות נאמר, אמותינו כאלמנות, היינו שתי אמהות, ולעתיד לבוא, תתנחמנה שתיהן. Now, since we don't know who's a gear, how many gary, what we have, when Hashem redeems us in future, one אנוכי for כלל ישראל, one אנוכי for even gary. So therefore it says, אנוכי אנוכי, two times אנוכי. Why two times אנוכי, one for כלל ישראל, one for gary. Since we are holding by 10 o'clock, So basically the Hashem Shon says, the first Gula Hashem did through Moshe Rabbeinu. Person involved, Hashem has to do again. Second Gula, Hashem will do himself, therefore no more Gula necessary, therefore it says two times. Tell me one thing, I feel if I'm going to skip something, I'm going to steal from somebody's mazal. I don't want to do that. You want to wait five minutes, I'll read everything through? Yes? Yes, yes. yes not hard, they see it's working, everything's good? Yeah? Let's go, look inside. Ba'al kefel milan ad anokhi. Od yesh lomar de'ita b'midrashim. You should know, when Satan dances, that's where the source of bracha comes in. Two minutes, listen and enjoy. She'geulot ha'lishonim al'deh she'ayu b'yad b'nei adam. The first geula was through help of people. People were involved. Mishumachi haya acharem shibud. After that, there was exile. Aval geula acharona. Tiyeh be'ad ha'kadosh baruch hu lo yeh od shibud acharei ad kar nishono. The last one, only Hashem will be in the presence. Nobody, nothing. Mashiach comes, one, Hashem will do everything 100%. Therefore, there will be no more exiles. Freedom. 
והנה בגאולת מצרים, אף על פי שנתקיים דן אנוכי, what did Hashem say? Egyptians, they torturing you, Hashem said I will punish them. Even though Hashem said I will punish them, and he did, still there were some involvement of Moshe Rabbeinu. במידת בחולות דכתיב בה, ואמרתי אני ולא מלאך ולא שליח, בכל מקום רוב הגאולה היה על ידי משה ואהרון. וג'יירי ווס דן תרום משה ואהרון. אמנם לעתיד לבוא יהיה הכל ביד הקדוש ברוך הוא, ולא כתיב שני פעמים אנוכי. ולכן כתיב שני פעמים אנוכי. Because the next one will be only to Hashem, therefore it says two times אנוכי. עוד בדרך אחר, שידוע שגאולה מצרים הייתה בחיפרזון. When we were coming up from Egypt, did we rush? Did we rush or no? Yes. But he was only at Satan in Israel. Why? Because if split second we would not come out, we would be stuck there for life. כי לא בחיפזון תצאו, היינו ששם הוצלחו להיגאל בחיפזון לפי שהיו שמשוקעים בטומאת ומגולילים ולא נתהרו. Because we were involved in their טומאה והוצלח להעיר להם עוד גדול כדי שיבחרו המזיקים והמקטרגים. Therefore Hashem needed to bring us his שכינה to separate all the demons and bad angels from us and to take us out from Mitzvah. Kedichtiv, Tizlach Hashem Eshe Asefon. As the sun rised, they were all gathered. Ba'achar Yom Tov, Ha'adishon Shekvar Yatsu, after Yom Tov, first day Pesach, you should know one thing. The first day Pesach is the biggest one we can reach in life. After Hashem took us out on the first day of Pesach, Hashem put us back into mind and says, now, 49 days you work hard, to get to the level that I put you yesterday. This is why we start counting Omer 49 days, two Shavuot. <coughs> Wherever they were <coughs> gathering Kedusha for 40 years in the 42 stations, they got all this in one night of Pesach in Mitzrayim. So this is how very important. When you get married, on the first day of the wedding, is so happy, woo! A week later, <laughs> Rabbi Akilam can ask you a question. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> did I make Rabbi's choice? <laughs> yes, you did. But over there, Hashem raised you to the highest. Now Hashem says, now you have to get yourself your, yourself there. In order to feel bracha, you have to work hard. And then, after you reach there, then you see how bracha goes towards your way. Let's continue. <laughs> well, Saba will continue. Continue. Okay, let's go. Three more minutes. Oh, the day I had it, I said three minutes, three minutes ago, no? Two minutes. Oh, the day I had it, I said three minutes ago, no? Two minutes. Oh, the day I had it, I said three minutes ago, no? Two minutes. I will separate you from the nations. Ego Amar Vaudil. Oh, remember I asked you a question? Separating good from bad, bad from good, which one's better? Look what it says. I never thought about it. Zerah Shimson was genius. Al Pasuk Vaudil, let him in a minute. Hashem says, I will separate you from the nations. When? And the last one. Now, look at Oh, sorry. From Egypt, Hashem says, I will take you from the Goyim. Hashem took us clean piece of gold out of that, and now he has to take a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, shape us up. This is why we go through all these Galuyot <laughs> exiles. But when Hashem will take all the Goyim in the last exile, then there will be not necessary nothing anymore. <coughs> If Hashem would say, I will take all the nations away from you, there would be no more future for Goyim. Hashem said, I will take you. A person takes good from the bad, and then he again takes good from the bad. Again good from the bad. So this is all our exile and exile. But when you take once bad from good, no more bad left. Lach ketiv anochim again lach. Therefore, Hashem said, "I will do good for you." Shev tiach kedush bechol Avraham sheura ratov shebahem. The mashma shatid laasod nami biru nachel. Omnam vegan amar belashon kafun anochi anochi hu minachin chenu. The mashma sheasa biru achar biru. Omeyat eno tekuma leumot haolam. When Mashiach comes, there will be no goyim. Ninety percent goyim will desire to become Jews. Why? They will see the truth. You know the whole world is like a movie theater. You go to movie theater, everything is dark and they show the movie. People think that's the true stories, you know? But when you take a flashlight, psh, start putting, all the movie is gone. Why? Whenever there's a true light, the fake story is gone. When Mashiach comes, people see their, with their eyes, Ki Hashem, echad Hashem is one and His name is one. 
So there's no more Yoshka, this, that, all the waste of time, all the shtuyot, all the fake stuff. <coughs> they will want to go after Hashem, but the question is, will there be enough room for them or not? <coughs> I will tell me one thing. People walk around proud saying, some communities do not accept Gerim. Bukharians, we do, unfortunately. Or maybe, fortunately. Tell me one thing, is it good to accept Gerim or not? Depends. Yeah. Depends. Good. 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 Depends on the Gerim. Yesterday in Dafyomi, actually three days ago, but for me it was yesterday, I just did it. It's a big question. Somebody's father died. He has two sons. One religious, one not religious. Should he give some inheritance to not religious son or no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. huh? He's going to take it, go do Hilu Shabbat. Should he give or no? Yes. Why? What Gemara says, why? So he doesn't go off the derrick. His idea of the derrick. You don't know which children he's going to have. His grandson or great grandson will become a big rabbi. Yes. So therefore, you're stopping this from him. Do you know what? With this sure, a lot of principals will hate me. Chazak Baruch, let's do it. <clears throat> when they kick out a kid from the yeshiva, they'll be responsible for him. And all these children that he would have had, they will be tamid the chamim. I feel bad for their gain now. I really feel bad. For a couple of dollars, they throw kids out of the yeshiva. I feel bad for their gain now. Why? Hashem says, you know what the rabbi would have come out from this? Now look how positive thing was to get some gerim. Avram Avinu, through three words, a guy disappeared for 40 generations, 10 generations, 20 generations, when the idol, 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 came out from him, you know who? Rabbi Akiva. The other guy came out from him, Rabbi Meir Balanes. From what? Because 20 generations ago, Avram Avinu, gave two nice words. Remember Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel's wife gave kosher milk to the Andarian in the end of the day he became Jew. Remember that story? How they forbid uh, Brit Mila and then they did Brit Mila, somebody snitched on them, they went and the Andarian's yeah, yeah, yeah. father said take my son. Remember that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was on the way feeding the baby kosher milk in the end of the day. <coughs> Huh? <laughs> uh, you know what I'll tell you? They're pressing on the buttons that I should say the story. I feel bad. I'm rushing because I feel you sitting on the needles and pins over there. But if you find, let's tell the story. Rabbi Shimon Ben He's coming from the Nesim, from Hillel Azaken. In his time, they said a child, Jewish child, should not have Brit Milah. A guy, uh, Roman emperor, said no more Brit Milah. Rabbi Shimon ben Gabriel, he went to the rabbi, but that rabbi already shaved his beard or put his cap as a stranger, like as a simple guy, put his Brit Milah knife in his pocket. He said, Rabbi, what do you need? He said, I have a baby boy tomorrow. He said, I'm coming to your basement tomorrow. So rabbi, quietly called his nine relatives and the rabbi. So they did Brit Milah to the boy. One neighbor saw it. He says, ah, they did Brit Milah in the basement over there. He went to the king, two day journey, and he snitched on the Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamliel. Right. <laughs> he snitched on them. A week later came to the rabbi's house later, saying, ah, I trust you, you my close friend, and you go to Brit Milah, and I said, don't do Brit Milah. You, your wife, and a baby come over here. If you're guilty, convicted, all three of you will be executed. So now, Rabbi took his wife, took the baby, and he's going. He's going on the way, the two way, two days way, you know, two days journey. So they stood by one Roman guy. He said, "Ah, oh, Rabbi, how are you? It's good." He said, "Where are you going?" He said, "I'm going to die. What are you, my, my wife and my, we are going to die. Let me go to die." He said, "Yes, somebody's listening." He said, "Rabbi, I have, I have, I have advice for you." My wife, four days ago, had also a baby. You leave your baby by us. Tell your wife to give some pump milk. We'll feed him. Take our baby and go. So she took the baby and started going. Baby cried on the way. So what she did? She feed the baby. What she's eating? Kosher food. 
Kosher food, kosher meal. You know, a lot of times people go, Rabbi, every meal has to be kosher, baby. I said, well, baby is a guy. If you give baby now, not kosher meal, not kosher, tomorrow is going to reflect you. Uh. <coughs> so what happened now? They went. King looked at the rabbi and said, listen, I, I, I called you chief rabbi. You're coming from such a dynasty, from such an important family. You go against my wishes. What are you talking about? Why did you bring you guys? Look at the baby. What are you saying? He says, yeah, I'm sorry. Call him. Why do they call rabbi's neighbor? He said, huh? I'm wrong. How can you snitch on me to the government? He says, I saw you. You shouldn't be listening. Like, you know, those fanatics for COVID-19. Oh, this is here. Let's go there. Snitch will never be a human being. It's dangerous. So what happened? He said, look at the baby. He said, no, I saw it. King said, listen, I'm embarrassed. You made my friend Janganozi to me. Hang this guy. <laughs> they went and they hung him. They killed him. The rabbi with his wife, with the baby. King said, listen, I feel bad. By the time you'll go home, I have five more snitches. You know what? Go tell your community to do Brit Mila. I don't want people snitch on you. <clears throat> but story doesn't over here. So they went back again, baby cried. So she had to feed the milk to the baby. They came. After they came, uh, Rabbi went home. Two, three years later, he says, listen, Rabbi, my son is demanding me to write to your letter. How, how are you? How is your son? He says, Baruch Hashem, my son's good. Your son, good, good, Baruch Hashem. He says, do you mind if our children continue talking some, whatever they learn? He says, I don't want my child to learn from me. He says, no, no, no. What your son learns in Yeshiva, they will discuss with my son. He says, no, no, no problem. The kid grew up, Roman king, learning Torah from... <coughs> And I'll be Shimon Ben Gamliel's son. Some say that was Rebbe, some say that was Rebbe's father, whatever. So, so now what happened? In the end of the day, he became Ger. All his followers became Gerim. Gemara is asking questions. How he became Ger? Why? Because of the kosher milk. You see? Sometimes you give kosher milk, sometimes you give kosher words. You give two, three. Do not give hurtful words to make somebody religious. You're not, you're pushing him off and you're responsible for that. Say something makes people happy, makes people feel good, makes people feel want to come close to Torah. And you get the reward, whatever he keeps, whatever she keeps. And that's important. Look at the bottom line and we'll do this with finish. Om nam, b'ma she'amer nu nicha shapit. Shemila tanochi, lo mesed le pnimut ha kanal. The word Anochi symbolizes the inner holiness of Hashem. The Ot Shovrara Tominara. And also to separate good <coughs> from bad. The Hainu. Hagerim Shebauli Gayer. Gerim that are coming to be converts. They are good from the bad. From among the Goim, there are few individuals that want to become Gerim. Should you take them? The Hainu Hagerim Shebauli Gayer. Vezoi Matanatova. Kmoa Ketuva Shanoten. The good gift, how girl, her husband gives to his wife, this Lord Hashem says, this is the gift for me. When Goy becomes Jew, when he wants to be, not, not uh, when he wants to become real, real uh, girl. And that was the matana Hashem gave to Abraham Avinu. Zoi matana tova kmo. Haketuva shenoten ha-ba'al le-ishtove. Inyan matna, matana zo, hem. Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Akiva, Shemaya otanum v'domem. The present, from those Gerim came out who? Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Meir, Shemaya, Talion, and so on. Our job is not walking around and bringing Goyim. No, but if somebody really wants, he fights, says, I'm going to kill you, you're not going to become, you're not going to make me Jewish. That's a different story. That's the way he really wants. Why? You want, you want to get mad at somebody? No! I want to do because I want to learn Torah. I want to be connected to Hashem. That's a different story. Shayub Bnei Gerim, will be to Torah and these people, they spread the Torah in the world. And they give the to class of Me'ata. A Knesset Israel to Enet. Shekpilo Aketuva. Hashem, Knesset Israel says to Hashem, Hashem, you want to bring us back to the Beit HaMikdash? Give us double Ketuva. Like husband kicks out his wife and says, no, sorry, she's not guilty. She says, what? You want me to come back home here? Give me double Ketuva. Why not? The Ha'inu, she yase bilut shne. Sheni ve'yotzi me'aumot kol tzad tov shebaem. Klal Yisrael says, take all the good sparks from Kla, from Goim and give it to us. Va'azeh mavchin, mavticha katuv, she'ekpola ketuvah. 
Ha'inu mamash anochi anochi menachemchem. Hashem says, not only I'll take you out from among the goyim, but also goyim good sparks. I will take and I give to Klal Israel with this. As Hashem will take all the sparks, <coughs> all our negative things that standing on our way, Hashem should take it away from us and put in us all the good and positive that should get us closer to Hashem. All our wishes should come true. To people, Zera Shel Kayama. Those who want to get married should get married. Those who have banim zecharim should have banim zecharim. And those who want to enter to their houses should enter to their houses. And Be'ezrat Hashem who's praying for their children to be in a proper path. They should be. And we should dance in their wedding. Amen. 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 Amen.